help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Igbos don't like marrying Muslims, even dating them, they detest. That's Chief Imam, the Chief Imam in the state of Imo, saying, say, Igbos, they detest marrying the Muslim women. Say, how much more of even, okay, say, even to date them, they don't even like dating them at all, coming close to them. Say, they detest it in its entirety. Yes. They say, look, the Igbos, they hate going into marriage. With the Muslims. So the Suleiman in Jokun, he said, is the, is the chief imam in Imo State. He said they are facing a lot of discrimination and other challenges in the Southeast. Now Jokun said, some of the challenges faced by Muslim faithful in the Southeast, including their struggle to find partners and get employment from the state governments. He said the major reason for the discrimination and various misconceptions said by the Igbo about Muslims in the region is the activities of bandits and Boko Haram insurgents in the north. Yes. He said the, the female Muslims in the states can't wear their hijabs for fear of attacks and insults. He said, quote, In Igbo land, there exist various misconceptions held by the Igbo regarding Muslims. These misconceptions primarily stem from the character and cash actions of certain bandits in the northern region of Nigeria, such as Boko Haram, as well as negative practices associated with some Muslims in that area. Unfortunately, as a result of these experiences, our people tend to mistakenly believe that all Muslims are the same. Nevertheless, it is crucial to recognize the fallacy in this generalization. Every individual, irrespective of religious affiliation, possesses unique qualities and behaviors, both positive and negative. Such individual differences should not be erroneously attributed to an entire faith or religion. Due to experiences with particular individuals in the northern part of the country who engage in harmful activities, our people have come to believe that such behavior is what Islam advocates or encourages. This misguided perception is the reason why, when someone embraces Islam, they are often called upon to attend a meeting where they warn them against acts of violence or any attempts to introduce Boko Haram related activities into our community. Even as a Muslim, you can't get any job from the state government. Meanwhile, the Igbo go to places where Muslims are living and they get jobs easily without any form of discrimination. But in Imo State, once they see you bearing a Muslim name, they will remove your name from the list of job seekers and ask you to go to the north for jobs. But God commanded us to love them, and we do. Also, our ladies cannot wear hijabs because of the fear of attack. If they wear hijabs, they will be called Boko Haram. But I usually tell them to shun any form of distraction and follow the commandment of God to rule their lives. The Igbo don't like marrying Muslims and they discourage anyone who wants to marry Muslims. End of quote. So this is what they are saying. They are lamenting. Lamentation. And the saddest. They say Nemo. Say nothing. Say even the government will not employ you in any part of the Southeast. Say because you are a Nemo. You are because you are a Muslim. Okay? Because you are a Muslim. So but that is not the case of uh, the Almagiri governor. That he was speaking about before, the Amadji governor, okay, or in other parts of the Southeast. Amadji governor is employing the Muslim, everybody, particularly if you are not Hannah, they want to please them. The Amadji governor, yes, that is it. So, but what are we not talking about? We are saying that it's not by force to marry anybody, it's by will, full choice. Yes. It's not by compulsion that, oh, you must marry a Muslim. No, it's by choice. The people say they don't want to marry. So for those people, like Mr. Njoko, who decided to be an Islam, I don't know why he's an Islam. We have said it before in our former report, 
that a particular person who said he's a Muslim from Igbo, but later want to go back to Christianity, they said they will kill him in the north. And all these things, and these guys, this is a full life man now. He's a name, he's a, he's a chief imam, okay? A name of state, chief imam. And you are putting on a red cap, chief imam. Don't know how they dress, chief imam putting on a red cap. You've seen it. So, this is what is happening. Some effluent for ignorant people, they be misbehaving. So the the good the good thing is that the Igbos are cutting them to sizes. Yes, he's lamenting. They don't want to marry us. They don't want who want to marry you. So they say we are Boko Haram. We are bandits. Of course, it is true. Yes. So they are causing violence, and they want people to join the religion. They are killing people, so it will not work. So for those people, we are saying it, we are saying it, all these things. If you are in the South East and you want to you want to try your luck, oh, maybe you are suffering, oh, things are not well with you, and you feel that, oh, the best thing for you to do is to join Islam and to, to see if they can dash you money. Have you asked yourself? People are there, they are suffering. Poverty. Poverty. Poverty are killing, are killing people in that place. Yes. Even those who are in Imo. Those who are in the East, those who are passing that fate, are they rich? They are poor. They live, you know, below poverty lines. These people. Now you go to their enclave where they where they reside. They are northern states. They are, they experience poverty like you know, you know, people in a, in a, you know, South Sudan. Yes, and therefore, where there is fight, where people are warring. Yes. So is that people who want to go and join? So what is attracting you there? Is that the poverty, the poverty diseases? Yes, because there's um, this, if you go to the enclave, see that you know the level of poverty there is you know, you know, inestimable. Yes, it's immeasurable. You cannot quantify the suffering, the gnashing of teeth because of poverty and hunger. This is. Okay? And you said you are joining. You had. So, if you join, that's your own palaver. The headache will continue to worry you. So, this uh, one joker and his colleagues, okay, those who say they are passing this there. No, on a palaver. They say nobody's doing them government work in the name of state or in, in the South East States. On a palaver. Yes? We know how much the government is trying his best, but of course, you know. This is a labor. There are limits to what he can do. Yes. So is it only him that is given job? It's not even given job. There's no job. It's only civil service of of thirty thousand naira. So the employers of labor in the south is Nemo. They said no. We're not employ. We're not employ. Yes. Of course they know. This one is saying in the in the north they employ the neighbors. The boys, are they causing violence? Are they henchmen? Are they henchmen? Are they terrorists? So why wouldn't you employ them? They bring prosperity to you. They grow your company, your business. I say they're not implying this. That who who want to employ you? Go and answer this one and come and put on hijab and cover everything.